All right, for the purpose of this video, we're going to, to define faith. We're going to define faith as something someone believes in that is their evidence of things not seen until they become seen. And that would be the character trait of faith. However, we're looking at the components of faith and the mechanism of faith also. So enjoy the video. I hope that you like it and thank you for your donations. All right, I want to show you the qualities of faith that belong to both the righteous and the wicked. Everyone has a mechanism built into their conscience, built into their consciousness in relation to the external world and how it connects to the internal world of our mind and soul. Faith is viable and critical for everything, including the foundation for sciences. So let's start with faith. Like I said, faith is universal. It belongs to everyone. It's not just about religion. It's about making an airplane that's never been made before or having an idea and pursuing it. It exists in your mind that you make real in the world. That's what faith is. It belongs to everyone. So faith has two parts. The subjective internal part where it exists only in the mind and the objective external part where you can actually see somebody's faith in what they're doing physically in the world. These are the components of faith. The definition of faith is simply believing something that has not been manifested yet while walking out the materialization of that belief, which becomes your evidence. And like I said, both groups of people possess this, the righteous and the wicked. Now, what saves a man is also the very thing that can condemn a man, what he believes. So, it's not about it just existing in the mind, it's about what exists in your mind. And it's not about the works that you do necessarily, it's what kind of works are you doing. Faith is either going to save you or it's going to condemn you. You understand? In the Bible, both kinds of faith are taught. One's called living faith or faith unto salvation or the faith of Christ, faith of God. The other one is called, the other is called dead faith or the faith of devils, which leads to the works of iniquity. So the mechanism of faith itself is neutral until you place your faith or trust in you use your faith to trust in something, you trust in something that can save you, or you trust in something that will not save you. And that's what we need to understand about faith. Let's look at it again this way. Again, faith belongs to both the righteous and the wicked possess faith. Faith is used by the righteous for salvation. Faith is used by the wicked to gain the world. Did you know that God tells us that you can gain the whole world, you can get become a millionaire by using faith? And Jesus tells us to use our faith to gain salvation and not the world. So faith is a mechanism that belongs to the wicked and the righteous. Both. What are you using your faith to gain? And what do you put your faith in? I hope this video helps. Please leave a like, comment, and I appreciate your donations. We'll be making more videos like this, Lord willing. God bless you.